Today we're making a faux gothic window for Halloween. We'll use foam insulation board, plexiglass, and LEDs. Let's rock. The first thing I did was measure every aspect of the exterior vinyl window and wall, and then start sketching ideas for how to transform that into a gothic window. And what I came up with was basically a faux wall and window that covers the existing vinyl window and stucco using several different layers of foam and plexiglass to create depth. If you don't have as much time on your hands, you could just use the faux window frame and plexiglass and just attach that to the existing vinyl window. The next thing I did was draw everything in Adobe Illustrator to scale and then research what material thickness was available for the insulation foam board. Since one inch and two inch thicknesses were the only two available, that helped me plan ahead to understand how to get the most dimension out of the window frame. Once I made some final adjustments, I printed everything to scale and trimmed those for use as templates. If you want me to make those templates available for download, comment below. Next step was to lay those templates on top of the insulation foam board, tape them down with painter's tape, and then use a utility knife and a T-square to trim them out. Once I had my first layer of the faux wall ready, I checked it against the actual wall and noticed that it was about an inch too tall, so I ended up trimming that. When I trimmed the 2-inch thickness of the insulation foam board, I used a utility knife first and then a hacksaw second, which I pretty much hated because the blade kept getting stuck. I just continued this process of using those templates and cutting out each layer of insulation foam board and kind of experimented with the hacksaw and different cutting tools until I decided on using a steak knife. After making the initial shallow cuts with the utility knife, I found that the non-serrated steak knife was a nice way to finish it off. In comparison to the hacksaw, it had a smoother edge. I had to trim one half inch off the depth of the little trim piece I designed because the insulation foam board only came in one inch thicknesses minimum. I cut out the last piece of insulation foam board, but before I get into the build, I hope you guys consider subscribing or checking out some merch I designed at SeizeTheDIY.com. For a list of specific tools and materials that I used in this build, check the caption below. Next, I used a fine sanding sponge to smooth all cut edges. After the insulation foam board was all cut, I moved on to using the templates to trim all the plexiglass. Because it was so slippery, I used my knee on one end of the T-square, and because it took so many cuts to trim through, for the arch, I used a Dremel and a cutting bit. The reason why I separated the total height of the window in two different pieces was because both fit into a smaller panel and gave me a cost savings. I traced the window, which was about a half inch larger than the opening, so that I could cut a recess with a rotary tool. Once that was done, I just smoothed that recess using a sanding sponge. And then one final detail I decided to add was creating a bevel across all inside edges of the window frame using an angled sanding technique. Next, I sprayed the plexi with a little water in preparation for a faux stained glass film. You basically attach it on one end, smooth it with a rag as you go, spray a little more water on it, and squeegee all of the air pockets out, and then trim it with a utility knife. Now, I didn't feel like this faux stained glass film was adhering well enough to plexi, so I actually added a little bit of clear Gorilla Glue on the edges. Now that all the elements were prepared, it was time to glue them together using construction adhesive. The only layers that I left unattached until later were the faux window frame and the faux wall. Now before I painted, I felt like the surface just didn't look realistic enough, so 
I decided to use these scotch bright pads to create some faux wood grain. I used a brush with interior matte black latex and I think if I was going to do it again I would go semi-gloss or satin because that foam ended up absorbing some of the finish and going more flat. There was one more detail I wanted to add before adhering the faux window frame and faux wall. I designed the rear of the faux wall with a half inch lip so that I could install LEDs. I used clear Gorilla Glue again and then sprayed a little water on it to set. I used construction adhesive in a few spots to hold the plexi and then attached the final piece which was the window frame onto the faux wall. And before the adhesive set, I did a quick measurement side to side to make sure it was centered. Then I used a dry brushing technique with a dark gray across the edges to create distressing. On the back side of the faux wall, I drilled two holes the same width as the vinyl window frame and inserted a linchpin with contractor's adhesive. On the vinyl windows, I just measured out the same location and installed command hooks. And the rings from the linchpins will fit right over them. And it was finally time to hang the window. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to catch more cool ideas, please subscribe.